A method to treat fractures using a dissolvable magnesium implants was approved for use in Singapore last year. And since then, some 27 patients have been fitted with these implants. They can reduce recovery downtime and save on surgery bills. 39-year-old Jedi Dewi is a mother of two who juggles childcare with a full-time job. Last July, she fell down some stairs and fractured her ankle. To treat the injury, she chose to get dissolvable magnesium implants instead of the usual titanium or steel versions. Being on a cast for at least two weeks with um, two active children around, I don't think it was something that I was considering. And um, at the same time, because I was informed that um, the material used for this um, surgery actually dissolves in the body, so I wouldn't have the implant in my body, nor do I need to go for another surgery to remove it. That was the main um, deciding factor. But doctors say these implants may not be as strong as titanium implants and surgeons may also need support to accurately assess patient recovery. Because the screw will become weaker over time and will provide less support for the fracture. The other one is that as the screw absorbed, um, having not a lot of experience with using the screw yet, uh, the physician or the surgeon, we would need to be comfortable interpreting how the x-rays look. This is the magnesium implant invented some eight years ago by medtech company Syntelix. Now, as you can see, it's about 3.2 millimeters in diameter and about the same size as this magnesium supplement caplet. Here's how it works. It holds bone fragments together to enable healing. And over time, as the bone grows, it is easily absorbed by the body so the patient doesn't have to go for a second surgery to remove Remove the implant. But when it comes to cost, patients may have to fork out a bit more at the outset. At the first glance, uh, the implant is a little bit more expensive than uh, well, a traditional uh, titanium implant or a steel implant. It's about, let's say, 40 to 60 uh, uh, Singapore dollars if you compare it. It's a little bit more expensive. At the end of the day, because you don't need a second surgery, uh, the technology saves money. Some 17,000 implants have been sold in 40 countries so far, with some 12,000 surgeries performed. But Syntelix says that like most new medical technologies, the take-up rate has been slow. It's not so easy to, to disrupt a technology like titanium or steel. The most difficult is to convince the surgeons because they are responsible for, for, for the patients and they have to be very, very careful. And so they look at the new products very carefully. The company says Asia is the fastest growing market for the technology and hopes to establish Singapore as its regional distribution headquarters. It plans to establish an R&D arm here next year and work with research institutions to improve the product. It will also set up a support system to handle queries from the medical community next year.